Good morning all of you. Myself, Dr. Girish Dutt Gautam, working as an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIMT College of Engineering, Greater Noida. Today we will discuss about properties of stainless steel. First of all, we should know what is alloying of steel. During the alloying of steel, some alloying elements such as carbon, chromium, magnesium, nickel, boron are added to steel to enhance its mechanical properties like toughness, hardness, ductility, corrosion resistance, strength, etc. The common alloying elements for steel are carbon, chromium, nickel, manganese, molybdenum, vanadium, tungsten, silicon, and boron. Now we will discuss what are the effect of these alloying elements on steel after their adding. First of all, carbon. Carbon increases hardness and strength of steel. Its higher content can reduce the ductility. Chromium. Chromium enhances hardness, tensile strength and toughness. It also provides higher corrosion resistance. Nickel. Nickel increase toughness and improve resistance to impact and corrosion. Magnesium. Magnesium improves ductility and wear resistance of steel. It also acts as a deoxidizer. Molybdenum. Molybdenum increases hardness and high temperature strength. It also improves machinery. Vanadium. Vanadium enhances hardness and wear resistance. It also refines grain size of steel. Tungsten. Tungsten rises hardness and high temperature strength. Silicon. Silicon acts as a deoxidizer. It increases strength without affecting ductility of steel. Boron. Boron enhances hardness through hardenability. A small amount can significantly affect properties of steel. Now we will discuss what are the effects of alloying on steel. Strength. Alloying can significantly increase the strength of steel both at room temperature and at elevated temperatures. Hardness. The addition of certain elements like chromium, vanadium and molybdenum can increase the hardness of steel. Toughness. Elements like nickel can improve the toughness of steel making it less brittle. Corrosion resistance. Adding elements like chromium and nickel can enhance the steel's resistance to oxidation and corrosion. Wear resistance. Alloying elements can form carbides that are hard and resistant to wear. Hardenability. The ability to steel to be hardened through heat treatment is improved with elements like boron and magnesium. There are two types of alloy steels. First one is low alloy steels and second one is high alloy steels. In low alloy steels, the alloying element contents is lower than 5%. They are designed to provide better mechanical properties or greater resistance to atmospheric corrosion as compared to carbon steel. While on the other hand, high alloy steels with a total alloy content over 5% are classified as high alloy steels, typically with specific designations such as stainless steel, tool steel or margining steel. Now we will discuss what are the applications of alloy steels. Alloy steels are used in a wide range of applications due to their enhanced properties. The key sectors are automobile sector, construction sector, energy sector and tool making industries. The higher strength and toughness of alloy steels make them suitable for making automobile parts. 
the higher strength and ductility of alloy steels make them favorite for construction sector the working tendency in high temperature and high pressure environment make alloy steel suitable for energy sector due to high wear resistance and hardness alloy steels are useful in tool making industries now we will discuss what are the properties of stainless steel and tool steels stainless steels are known for their corrosion resistance attributed to high chromium content tool steels are alloyed with elements like tungsten and vanadium to increase their hardness and durability making them suitable for cutting and drilling tools stainless steel Stainless steel is best known for its corrosion resistance which is primarily due to the presence of chromium in the alloy when chromium is exposed to oxygen it forms a thin invisible layer of chromium oxide on the steel surface that prevents further corrosion this property makes stainless steel ideal for use in environments where the metal is subject to corrosive agent the key properties of stainless steel are corrosion resistance higher resistance to rust and staining due to chromium content second one is strength certain type of stainless steel alloys have high strength especially when cold work ductility ductility can be formed into a variety of shapes and can undergo significant deformation before failure toughness good ability to absorb energy and deform without fracturing especially in austenic grades of steel high heat resistance some grades of stainless steel can resist scaling and retain strength at high temperatures high g the non porous surface of stainless steel makes them easy to clean and sanitize which is why it's widely widely used in food processing and medical applications aesthetic appearance stainless steel has a modern look and does not tarnish making it popular for consumer goods and architectural application now now we will discuss the types of stainless steel basically the stainless steel can be divided in four types first one is austenic second one is ferritic martensitic and duplex austenic stainless steel are non magnetic in nature they are highly ductile and can be hardened by cold working while ferritic stainless steel is magnetic in nature not hardenable by heat treatment and generally lower in cost third one is martensitic it is magnetic in nature and can be heat treated to improve strength and hardness next one is the duplex it combines the qualities of austenic and ferritic it offering high strength and good corrosion resistance now we will discuss tool steels the stainless steel which are used for making manufacturing tools are known as tool steels tool steels are a variety of alloy steels that are well suited to be made into tools their hardness resistance to abrasion and deformation and their ability to hold a cutting edge at elevated temperatures are the most important properties in the figure we can see the different type of drilling boring reaming cutting milling tools which are made by tool steels
द की प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टूल स्टील्स आर फर्स्ट वन इट इज वियर रेजिस्टेंस हाई कार्बन कंटेंट एंड प्रेजेंस ऑफ हार्ड कार्बाइड लाइक टंगस्टन वेनेडियम एंड मोलेबिडनियम मेक इट हाईली वियर रेजिस्टेंस सेकेंड की प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ टूल स्टील इज इट्स टफनेस इट इज द एबिलिटी टू विद स्टैंड चिपिंग एंड ब्रेकिंग अंडर इम्पैक्ट और स्ट्रेस थर्ड वन इज द हार्डनेस हाई हार्डनेस लेवल्स ऑफ टूल स्टील्स स्पेशली आफ्टर हीट ट्रीटमेंट अलाउ देम फॉर कटिंग एंड शेपिंग ऑफ अदर मेटेरियल नेक्स्ट वन इज द हीट रेजिस्टेंस टूल स्टील्स मेंटेन हार्डनेस एंड स्टेबिलिटी एट हाई टेम्परेचर नेक्स्ट वन इज द डायमेंशनल स्टेबिलिटी टूल स्टील्स पजेस द एबिलिटी टू मेंटेन शेप एंड साइज वेन सब्जेक्टेड टू चेंज इन टेम्परेचर एंड मैकेनिकल स्ट्रेस नाउ वी विल डिस्कस वट आर द टूल स्टील्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड इन फाइव डिफरेंट टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज वाटर हार्डनिंग टूल स्टील्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज डब्ल्यू ग्रेड टूल स्टील्स दीज आर इन एक्सपेंसिव इन नेचर एंड यूज इन एप्लीकेशन दैट रिक्वायर ए हाई हार्डनेस सेकेंड वन इज कोल्ड वर्क टूल स्टील The cold work tool steels are used in tools operating at room temperature, subdivided into oil hardening, air hardening, and high carbon chromium types. The next type of tool steel is hot work tool steels. These tool steels are used in making tools that remain hot during operation. like die casting tools the next type of tool steels are shock resisting tool steels which are also known as s grade tool steels these tool steels contains silicon and molybdenum for toughness to withstand shock loading the last type of tool steels is known as high speed tool steels these are designated as T and M grades of tool steel. These tool steels contains tungsten, molybdenum, and vanadium, suitable for cutting tools that operate at high speeds. Here, T stands for tungsten and M stands for molybdenum. Margining steels are a type of alloy steel which are characterized. by their ultra high strength and toughness properties they are martensitic in structure with nickel as a key alloy element now we will discuss different type of cast irons basically cast irons are classified based on their microstructures cast irons are six different types first one is gray cast iron second one is white cast iron next one is ductile cast iron also known as nodular cast iron or spheroidal graphite cast iron next one is malleable cast iron the fifth type of cast iron is compacted graphite cast iron and the last one is alloyed cast iron gray cast iron this is the most common type of cast iron and it is known for its gray color when fractured when we fracture or break the gray cast iron the breaking surface has gray color texture basically this is due to the contents of carbon in the form of graphite flakes which gives it its characteristic appearance in gray color gray cast iron is easy to cast and has good machinability now the white cast iron white cast iron is characterized by its white color it is very hard in nature and has brittle surface it contains carbide impurities which make it extremely hard and wear resistance 
so we can say white cast iron is hard and wear resistance in nature but it is brittle also and if it is brittle then it has less or lack of ductility thus it can not be used at the conditions where the cyclic loads are applicable or the tendency of ductility is required the next type of cast iron is ductile iron ductile cast iron known as also known as nodular cast iron or spheroidal graphite cast iron ductile cast iron is an alloy of iron carbon silicon and small amounts of magnesium the carbon is in the form of tiny spheres or nodules which provide greater strength toughness and ductility as compared to gray iron ductile cast iron is widely used in applications where strength and impact resistance are crucial the another type of cast iron is malleable cast iron this type of cast iron has the property of malleability basically malleability is the property of a material by virtue of it can be draw in the form of sheets so the malleable cast iron when undergoes in heat treatment to convert the carbon in the form of white iron white iron nodules into temper carbon giving it both strength and ductility malleable iron is often used for parts that require a combination of toughness and wear resistance in summary in today's session we discussed about the alloying of steel types of alloying steels and the key alloying materials and their specific applications and their effects on the stainless steel we also discuss the types of cast iron in today's session thank you